Alright. So enough stalling. Let's finally go into the forge. You know, let's probably let's do that. It's been a while since I murdered a fire giant. You know, ripped off his leg and everything. And now, you know, we're gonna do the thing originally uh, of, you know, why we came here in the first place. Offer sacrifice, yeah. I mean, I think it's been implied. I don't know if it's been directly stated, but it's been implied like multiple times that Melena is going to be the kindling for this whole procedure of, um, you know, burning the tree. But let's see. Let's see what actually happens. No, treacherous. Getting on top of this giant bowl, which uh, also reminds me of the Lord Vessel. I, mean, I guess any bowl would just remind you of that, I guess. But I mean, especially in the Souls games, right? In the Souls games, if you didn't know, there's a special object that's a big bowl, and it was like a plot device, sort of, I guess. Oh. I, at least in Dark Souls 1, you know, it allowed you to fast travel, right? So it was very... A very memorable item, I guess. Hmm. It reminds me of that. How do I get down? Like, like I'm gonna die if I just fall down directly? I'm not sure. I can go all the way around, I guess. Are we supposed to do? I guess so. <laughs> Another player phantom doing the same thing as I am. I'm just looking at the, the bottom of this bowl. I guess it's been used before. Oh, there's grace here. You know, it's been used before because I see ashes, right? I assume that's ashes anyway. And obviously it's still smoldering somehow. I assume it's because... I don't know, it's actually this is kind of like it's moving a little bit, it's like lava. Huh. Oh. I assume it's because, it's, you know, it's magic fire. Fire that's never been put out still. Even at this point. Alright, I guess, uh, let's see, I guess talk to Milena? No oh, blood sticks around here. How did everyone die? Just fall off? Observe the lands between. This world is in dire need of repair. And death. Indiscriminate. Are you prepared to commit a cardinal sin? Mm, how about you wait a moment? Very well. Tell me when you are fully prepared. Alright. He's just gonna like sit there. Uh, one last time. Your wounds to strength. Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment. Let's just hold hands, you know, a little bit. But I'm not gonna level though, I guess. 55 vigor, 55 dexterity. Anyway. You know? We never get a, we never get a lot of opportunities to actually interact with her, you know? And do the whole level up thing, which I feel like which was which was a staple in the other Souls games. You would actually go to like a, a like a usually like a female NPC. I'm trying to think. The only exception was Dark Souls 1, but usually like a female NPC. And then, you know, they would do a whole spiel and you would level up in, in the process, right? I think it started in Demon's Souls. Um, what do I want to do? Oh yeah, I want, I, there's another reason why I wanted to go into my menu. And, you know, one here is to put away some stuff. Put that away, put that away, put that away, put that away. Yeah. I guess put that away. You know, actually, I remember now. The reason why I wanted to keep these is just in case there's another, like, I guess, pseudo-puzzle. Where you need to use the Bloodhound step, I guess. So, I actually want to keep that. But, so, uh, let's see. Belted Grand Sax. Oh, did I? Oh, no, no. It's because, uh, I was wondering, why do I, why is there, like, a red X? But, I remember now. It's because, uh, I don't have the strength for it. That's why I wear a strength talisman before I actually wield the weapon. Um, all right, let's do this. Let's commit a cardinal sin. Are you ready to commit? A commit? Well, it's time to commit. Very well. Let my hand 
rest upon you for but a moment. O Erd Tree, you shall burn. Burn for the sake of the new Lord. Thank you for guiding me here. The one who walks alongside Flay shall one day meet the road of destined death. Goodbye. All right, we're suddenly we're over here now. Okay. Reminds me of Dark Souls 3. I think it was Dark Souls 3 that something similar happened where you just go to sleep and you end up somewhere else. Is this Faram Azula? Or whatever was it called again? Faram something. Again, we've been here before. And yeah, dragons like Lying around, very, very, I can't remember, I think it was, was it Dark Souls 2? Dark Souls 2 had a very similar thing, I, I think I mentioned before where there's a bunch of dragons flying around, that reminds me of that too, anyway. Hmm, I also noticed that Milena, I mean for one she has some scars on her hands, that's interesting. And was it just me or did her like one eye, did it like turn gold or something? Or was it always gold, I don't remember now. I'm not sure. But, quite a dramatic cutscene, but now we're just over here. Hmm. Weird. I don't know if there's an explanation for this, but, you know, we're just here now. You did it. You committed the cardinal sin. Now you're stuck in Dragonland. It is interesting scenery. I mean, I like the... The tornadoes. For some reason, the tornadoes kind of stick out to me. I mean, I mean, I mean, obviously, but I don't know. Something, something stylistic about that, I guess. Hmm. Where to? A lot of people try to jump off. I guess. I keep falling to the deaths. I feel like. Ooh. <laughs> okay, he missed. Uh, I assume not this way. This way probably is not the right way, so the only way to go is over here. Try not to copy 
the blood stains. Hmm. Ah, floating rocks. Reminds me of um when we defeated Radon and there was a hole in where was it? Can't remember now. Let's look at the map real quick. There was a hole in like over here, yeah, over here, in this area, you know. And the rocks were kind of floating as well. Something to do with gravity, I guess. This gravity manipulation, I assume. Hmm. Visions of chaos. Yeah, here you go. Crumbling Farum Azula. Azula. Azula just reminds me of the character. <laughs> Avatar The Last Airbender, but anyway. Hmm. Okay. So we're, we're over here, by the way. And I, I didn't mention that, but yeah, I, I saw this before. Yeah, we're just over here. And like, um, you know, just far away from everything else. Again, I feel like From Software has kind of just gave up, you know? at certain points to explain why how how everything is connected sometimes i mean usually the, the geography is interesting enough to make sense or not interesting but you know the, the geography even though it's like fantasy you know and everything it's it still kind of makes sense um but i think sometimes they just like don't care it's like hey you, you're just over here now you know who cares if it makes sense or not you're just over here it's magic don't worry about it I wonder if we'll end up over there soon enough. Uh, I saw some movement over here. Yeah, there's some enemies. Well, you can't really, yeah, you can't really teleport out, it seems. So you're just kind of stuck here. I wonder, well, I mean, I guess if you defeat the fire giant, then you'll be strong enough for this area, I assume. Because I'm just wondering, like, if so, for some reason you ended up here without b meaning to, it might be bad, right? Don't bite me. Because you can't, you know, you, you can't get out, you know, like you soft lock yourself or something somehow. I don't know. These guys are just... No, okay. He's angry now. So they are hostile. I was wondering if, you know, if I didn't need to kill them, but I guess I have to. Strange. You know, that one got one shot. This one did not get one shot. Is it slightly different? I don't know. Hmm. You know, these kind of remind me... We, we fought these guys before, I think. They look different, though. These look more... I don't know. They didn't take a shower. Um, but we fought those. We fought these guys before, I think. I mean, the first time, actually, in the very beginning of the game. What are they called? Beastmen or something? I think they're just beastmen. Beastman? Beastman. 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 Beastman? Hmm. Don't fight me. I think I'm gonna parry you. Okay. These are some strange attacks. I don't know if I can parry it. I'm gonna get myself killed trying to parry. Not right. I mean, it looks like you can because they're using a sword, right? But if you bite me, there you go. You know, it's usually more of a hassle. The like, it's not very um, not for fire. It's not very uh efficient really to try to parry and everything even though i mean i get help from it you know because of the talisman and everything you would think that'd be helpful but like i just end up taking more hits than i need to and it just ends up being worse off than simply just poking them to death 
but you know, I'm just obsessed with trying to parry everything. You gotta at least parry an enemy at least once, you know? It doesn't feel right if I don't. Alright. I do want to use... Again, I, I do want to mix it up. I haven't really used the spear all that much. I even upgraded and everything, so... I'm going to use the spear some more. Let's see here. No, I think... Because I, li I like this, actually. So I'm going to actually change that. Even though Spirit Tasman obviously makes sense. I like the healing better. Uh, but I want I need I do need to change this to this, yeah. Redon one. Gives you more strength. Storm. Uh you know it's actually I don't know if this is realistic or not, but it feels realistic. I don't know. Like I've never been this close to a tornado, so I wouldn't really know, you know? <laughs> But it feels realistic. Feels like what a tornado would look at look like. Is it a tornado or a hurricane? I feel like there's just like a slight minor difference between a hurricane and a tornado. And like a typhoon or something. Something to do with maybe it being close to water. I don't know. Some skeletons. Are these decorations or they look like them purposely put here, so just looking around. I hear something. Uh, oh boy. You did I fight you before? I don't remember now. Ah, uh, no horse too. Oh, this kind of sucks. This is horrible, actually. No horse? Hmm. You know, I just put this spear on, but I think the spear might not be useful against it because it's literally lightning. <laughs> it's a lightning dragon, so... I'm gonna try anyway. Yeah, 300? That's not a lot at all. Of course, fire. Mm-hmm. This is why I clean up my inventory so I can switch it up pretty easily. I'm not even like a boss health bar. I can't tell how much damage I'm doing. Uh, 400? Yeah, slightly better. Okay, it's flapping its wings, I think. Okay, didn't do any damage though, so that's nice. Literally can't see what it's doing. Mm hmm Good. Oh, ow. Just more jump attacks, I don't know. I feel like the best thing I can do is just simply stagger it, maybe. I'm doing something. It's fire, okay. I hate that. I don't what is it doing? I don't know. It's such an awkward fight. Hello? Where are you? You're up there now. Ah! Oh, that's a lot of damage. Eh. Eh. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it. I was hoping I was out of range. Really? Ah, oh, damn it. Hmm. Without a horse, and especially on such a small arena, finding a drag is like really hard. It's not even like a boss necessarily, this is a normal enemy. Hmm. Well, I mean, there's a few things we can do here. Let's see. I imagine, I mean, it's, it's it's red, but I, I assume it's still lightning. So let's, uh, I assume this is what is holy. Here you go, this is lightning. Put that on. 
And sometimes it breathes fire, so I'll put this on too. I think that's the best we can do right now. And in fact, well, we don't need this now because we're not using the spear. I wanted to use the spear, but now just suddenly I can't use the spear. How unfortunate. Um, spear Tasman. Or I could just beef up my defenses even more, I guess. Is it worth it? Mm, maybe. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. I just need to survive, really. I need to live. Let's try this again. You know, this the big stabby sword is actually not great for fighting giant enemies. I feel like when you stab, you kind of end up stabbing between their feet. But... Let's try again. Okay, kind of like AoE attack. Careful. Fire? Oh god. I always forget, you know, it's doing that. Okay. I wish I could hit his head, but... Eh, come on, just hit it at least once. <laughs> this. Really? That comes up faster than I think it does. I mean, dragons can get staggered, right? I think so, anyway. Okay, that second the swipe, I always, I always gotta remember how that works. Good for you. Hey, yeah. They hit him? Maybe. It's, it's, it's a little janky. This, this is reminiscent of the fight with the tree spirit in uh, in the Halic tree again. It's not as bad, I feel like, but man, this is like I don't know why Miyazaki intended me to do this. Okay, that's fine. It's literally nothing, no damage, which is great. I would be angry, actually, if it did do damage. Because it's, it's really hard to avoid. Okay, good for you. Mm -hmm. Careful on the edge. Ah, the swipe! The second swipe! Every time. Can't see what it's doing. Good. Oh, it's gonna second swipe. No. Nope. It's just doing that now. What is it doing? Fire? No, it's just doing a slam. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't fall off. Just heal up. Roll twice. Is it a lingering, like, after hitbox or whatever? I don't know what you call it. Oh, stagger, by the way. It's annoying. I guess I'm not hitting it enough. Usually, jump attacks do pretty good stagger damage. What's it doing now? I don't know. Oh, it just kind of like tripped. Good. Big slam. Like be careful and heal up just just in case. Okay. Hit you in the face. Not even the face is enough to stagger you. So it did more damage. Oh, 
come on. Come on. What is this? Don't breathe fire in my face. Normally you would use a horse to run past it, but I don't have a horse right now. Stamina back up. Just stab him. Come on, stab him. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> well, there you go. What a super incredibly janky fight. Amazing. Just as Miyazaki intended. You fight a giant dragon. And like, kind of like, it's not the smallest platform in the world. But it's pretty close to an edge. And without a horse, you know, because I feel like using a horse is the best way to fight those dragons, but... Oh well. This... I wonder if there's gonna be more dragons. <laughs> I guess we'll see. I mean, this place seems to have a lot of dragons flying around, so... Is it just gonna be like normal enemies and maybe you're not supposed to fight literally all of them? I don't know. Hey, but at least there's Grace. Alright. It's kinda it's just weird. It's just like, here's just a giant dragon. And then, that's it. That's kind of like a detour. Sort of. Just fight this giant dragon, and then you can go to the next area. Amazing. Change that. Um, what am I doing? Oh yeah, the critical stuff. Uh, this, and... This. Kinda of disappointed we never got the critical hit though on the, on the dragon. There's so many jumping attacks, never worked out. Alright. Well, actually, now can I use my spear? <laughs> you know, I've been trying to use my spear this entire time, I just end up not being able to use my spear. Uh. Scroll so much. So much Tasmans. Uh, this one. Alright. Unless these guys are also resistant to lightning, I actually don't know. They don't look to be necessarily resistant to lightning, though. skeletons around here. I guess kind of like, uh, you know, the Egyptian mummies or whatever. They like to bury the dead with gold and stuff. Oh, another, another summoning pool already? I really feel like that was like so quick, you know, it's like, unless maybe some, I missed like a side area, I don't know, because it just felt like a really small area with just a dragon and that's it. That's the challenge. Huh, it just felt kind of weird. Alright, you. Mm, parry you. Oh, there you go. I get your interesting. You can parry that. I didn't know you could parry that. I just did it just because. But usually you can't parry jump attacks, but and I guess there's always exceptions, you know, in PvP, or rather PvE. It's always a little confusing whether or not you can parry something or not. It just depends. Revenge. Hmm. Oh, maybe we went down there first somehow? I don't remember going down there, though. No idea. That guy's walking this way. Seems like a trap, but... Oh, okay, I missed the backstab. Oh, come on. Stab him. Hmm. Okay, that guy just died. I don't know why. He just... He just got murdered. Okay, so you go over there, go outside over here. What's over here? Seems like... nothing? Eh, it's just an item, I guess. <laughs> I'm getting these, like, Sen's Fortress vibes for some reason. Even though it's really nothing like Sen's Fortress, really. 
don't know. Race ahead, huh? I see an elevator. Seek right? Well, there is an item. Is it a leaf again? No, it's just a hero's rune. Listen carefully. I do hear something, I think. But... Not relevant to me right now. And I guess... Is this... I mean, this goes down to a new area, I, I guess. Um... Hmm. I'm just wondering, you know, what's back where I was, but, uh, you know, I should really just focus on going one direction first. You know, if I need to go back, what's this? This, is, this stands out to me for some reason. Uh, but if I need to go back, then I need, then I'll go back. I just gotta remember. Oh, we go down here too. Um, hmm. I guess some enemies over there. Oh, worm face. All right. Well, hold on. Let's see. I wanted to check back over here if possible. Seems like there's a path this way. Dragon? Another dragon? Are you serious? Ugh. I'm going to check it out just to see, I guess. Okay, if it's another dragon, <laughs> um, well, okay, let, let's just see. If it's another dragon, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run past it. I don't know if I want to fight it again. Just another, just generic dragon. Yeah, I'm just not interested. Sorry, goodbye. I already fought one of you guys already. You're just annoying. Like, I feel like there's no point in fighting this thing. I'm leaving. Don't kill me. Uh, oh, <laughs> see some fire burning. All right, good. Cool. I wonder if it can follow me. I assume not. Again, enemies in this game aren't programmed to. Yeah, okay. They aren't programmed to really like jump over uh, ledges or whatever. Necessarily, you know, they, they can't platform. Even with wings, they can't really actually fly. As it turns out. Ow. Can you parry that? <laughs> I was wondering now. Ah. But I don't kind of don't want to. These guys are Deathblight guys, so... Oh, I hate this. Ah! Stop it! Okay. Ow. Ow, oh, stop it! Okay, I don't know if I can parry a stomp. Blar, blar. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> this guy can move. Oh, there's a lot of them here, actually. Um, let's see. We can go down there. You can also go this way. Be wary of left. I assume there's an ambush of some sort. Yep. Okay. okay Finding these guys on foot suck. I never really fought these guys that much on foot. Let's kind of fight them on horseback, really. I guess not too bad. They're like they're, they're like death gas actually goes around them rather than like right in front of them for the most part they're not like the you know the basculus falling rocks uh, this place is yeah this place is big hmm I mean, just like all the other dungeons i guess i imagine this is like a main dungeon as well i just don't want to like miss anything you know Up there. 
And I kind of want to go that way, actually. Hiya! No, actually, I shouldn't be here. Ah, Death Blight. Damn it! I thought I was safe because when I was fighting the other guys, Death Blight didn't seem to build up when I was actually in front of them. But, you know, that time, not so much. All right. Well, gives me a chance to go the other way, actually. Because I did actually explore quite a while, or quite far, into the level. I was curious what the other way was. Let's see, so that's the elevator. Um. Uh, okay, I think I went this way before, yeah. I, I, I guess I kind of went around, that's why. Oh, that's what I was wondering. I remember there's a message. Oh, this guy woke up, actually. There's a message in front of this guy. And it's like, you know, sweet revenge or whatever. I was wondering why, like, because I didn't end up being ambushed by that thing, I guess. The reason is because if you go down there first, I imagine that he jumps off and tries to murder you, I guess. Stop it. I'm just blocking my weapon now. Alrighty. So I went over here already, yep. So I went down that way. I was curious about over here though, so I didn't really explore over here all that much. Oh, freaking magic, really? Ow. Oh, really? I missed. Please stop. Stop it. Stop it. Just get backstabbed, please. No? Okay, fine. I'll just stab you normally. I will just front stab you instead. Parry that though. I gotta remember, you know, yeah, you can parry that. I don't know if I don't know if I'll remember it all the time, but it is possible. Ancient Dragon Prayer Book. I can give that to the turtle, I guess. I assume it gives ancient dragon spells. Hey, or he's in grace. Hmm, if I get grace here though, then to run into that place again. It's annoying. Somber stone. Hmm. Okay, there's even a summoning pool here? I mean another dragon or something. Hmm. So this is like a different way to go. Okay, so two ways to go. Elevator or this way, it seems. I'm not sure which way is the correct way. I kind of want to go the wrong way first, so I explore more of the level, right? Hmm. But, uh, I guess we'll go this way first. Maybe you have to drop down, though. Alright, let's just keep going this way. Can't go in there, and the messages always, you know, insult you by saying you can't go in or whatever because you're too fat. You're freaking, are you like freaking skeletons, really? You're like, yeah, you can draw all the way down there. You know, being undead can't save you from gravity, I guess. You just fall literally right into the ocean. There's nothing you can do. Okay, well this sucks. Stop it.
you stop? Freaking... Ow, <laughs> got headshot. I'm gonna die now. Amazing. That's a big sword. For, for just a normal straight sword, I don't know. At least by this game's standards. So many of them, help. Eh. Can, you just, can these guys just fall off? Oh yeah, remember. Th no, these guys can jump. I did say something about how like, enemies can't jump for ledges. These guys can jump though. As it turns out. Really? Excuse me. I can jump again. Okay, fine. I'll do this. There you go. Goodbye. Bit of an AoE, actually. That's pretty cool. Use up all my flasks, though, just to kill a bunch of skeletons. Yeah, I guess those are the undead versions of the same species that are around this area, right? I mean, it makes sense. Where is Sniper? Sniper knows sniping! Hmm. Sniper. I see a scarab there. Sniper? Oh, over there. Alright. Um, I mean, it will be fine. Not like a big deal, right? It's just a guy shooting arrows at you. As long as you keep moving in a lateral direction, shouldn't hit you. There you go. Drop down that hole, I guess. Oh, there's this guy over here. Okay, these guys, I know it's the weapon actually. These guys are the big skeleton boys that seemingly just have way more health than the other ones for some reason. It's really tough. So I will do the Dark Souls 1 stat, uh, strat and just keep backstabbing them. Good. Yeah, make sure to finish them off, otherwise I'm gonna revive. Ooh, grace. Alrighty, just more grace. Oh, you're one. You're a big guy again. That guy's still shooting at me. Repair that. Okay, no, never mind that. Ow. Okay, just stop. Just backstab you. I actually want to see if I can parry. Yep, there you go. You can parry these guys. That archer is annoying though. Hmm. Can you aim at them from here? Uh... I don't know if I'll hit with this. Maybe not, but... I'll try. I... Yeah! Damn it, I missed. Okay, well, never mind that. Eh, who cares? We'll just ignore them. Which way now? I guess we'll just go to the Grace. Is there a way to go up there, maybe? Probably. Go around. Hmm. Uh, hello, Doge Taco. Exchange wings for rings? But no rings for things that swing? <laughs> what are you? Were you uh, Dr. Seuss? I'm not sure I understand what you mean. Alright. We're at the Dragon Temple. Hmm. What 
Okay. I assume we keep going that way, or rather this way, and then we'll go around, maybe. I do want to go back real quick, though, because it seems like the other path might lead somewhere, too. I'm not sure. Well, can you make that? Probably not. I don't know. Hmm. Probably have to jump down. Maybe. Oh, there's an item. Uh, oh, but it's kind of like awkward to get. I just go around. How are things going in the maidenless, uh, maidenless lands? Well, actually, we did burn our maiden, so we are back to being maidenless, I guess. That's how it works. We burned a maiden, somehow we took a nap, and then we ended up over here. That's how it works. Also, you... Uh-oh. Oh, actually, you die pretty easily. Just one more pose. Really? You guys are weak. Oh, well, anyway. Um... Let's, uh, yeah, let's go back over... Let's see. Which was the best one? I guess this one's actually better. Yeah, so we start over here, go around this way. I wanted to go back in the back, this back area. Yeah, I remember. I guess that doesn't lead anywhere, but because it doesn't lead, in there, uh, lead anywhere, I do want to explore more of it. And do just that. I, I don't know what's worse now. Is, are these guys or Basklis? Basklis. I guess they're not so tough in the grand scheme of things. They're just very scary because I re you remember them from Dark Souls 1 and how they have the insta-kill, like, gas. I mean, I imagine most players... I can't remember if it happened to me, but I remember I remember most players in Dark Souls 1, when they meet Basklis, they it's because they fell down a hole in the sewers, right? In the sewer level, and then they're just surrounded by a bunch of Basklis shooting, like, gas at them, and they just end up dying. And they always get that curse, you know? They get like a lingering curse even after you die. Which is very scary. Is there another one here? I can't remember. Okay, I'm gonna just use this. Can you stagger, please? Did these guys stagger? Come on. Alright, good. Alright, another one over here. There's a lot of them, as it turns out. Jump on this tree? Why not? Yay, we did it. We jumped on the tree. Doesn't really help, with that, uh, help us that much. And I'm just afraid it was going to do the thing where it just... Projectile vomits in, in my direction and somehow catches me, even when I was trying to, like, strafe them. I feel like in most... Most attacks you can you can you just kind of strafe you know a lot of range attacks, as long as you just keep moving they tend to miss. At least that's what I found in most of the Souls games, but not always the case in Elden Ring. I feel like sometimes they track you very hard. I mean just 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 like in melee, right? It's like a lot of things in this game. You know, gone are the days in Dark Souls 1 where you could literally strafe literally every attack. Almost every attack in Dark Souls 1, you would just run around them and then all attacks would miss somehow. You wouldn't even need to dodge. But no more of that. Miyazaki. Oh, Miyazaki uh, fixed up the AI to make sure the attacks hit if you're not dodging. Is it just me? The dogs in this era are also different as well. Do they have like... Yeah, I think that this dog has like, uh... Anklets, you know? It has like... Decoration on them. Interesting. It's unique to the area, I imagine. Alright. Are we done here? Because yeah, I don't want to fight any more of these worm faces. I assume that's what they're called. We saw one time there was a boss. It had like a boss HP uh, bar. And the name was Worm Face. So it kind of stuck with me. It makes sense. They're literally, they literally have worm faces and they're vomiting worms at you, I think. Alright. Go up this long ladder. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What a thrill. I'm still in a dream, Snake Eater. Hmm. Oh, another one 
these guys. Alrighty. Do some damage. Don't do the projectile vomit at me. That one would really suck in this like very narrow hallway. Or is it a hallway? What do you call this? There's no walls around us technically. I mean there are walls, but it's more like castle walls. Anyway, whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, all that for a smithing stone. That's not too bad, I guess. What does uh, smithing stone number 8 give us? Plus 24. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I mean, I don't necessarily need it, because I've already upgraded my main weapon to max. In fact, the, the spear is also max because it's a unique weapon. Even though it says plus 10, you know, it's the equivalent of a plus 25, really. All I really need to do, though, is just, you know, upgrade my dagger, maybe, just... Just for the situational use of getting parries. I guess my shield, if I just have the extra little stability, it helps with like partial parries, you know. If you miss a parry, then at least you don't take as much stamina damage. Even though it's not doesn't help that much, it's like literally like a few points, but at least it's something. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. I don't wanna die to death blight again. Good. Do melee? Yeah, do a melee attack. It's great when these guys do melee attacks and they're not barfing at you. And the guy, these guys drop poop, by the way. Go tinge excrement. They drop, you know, their poop full of gold. I think I mentioned before, you know, why is it full of gold? It probably has something to do with the Elden Ring. Maybe his, their poop is full of runes. You know, that's how it works. So the power of the shattered remains of the Elden Ring, literally in their poop. My god. Or either that or they've been eating gold somehow. I mean, isn't that like, isn't that like a thing in real life? <laughs> I never actually really, really looked it up, but I've heard many times there's this thing I like restaurants or whatever for like rich people who can like buy like a very expensive meal and have like literally actual gold like shaved gold flakes or whatever sprinkled on their food and then they freaking eat it for something and it's literally just the flex i feel like <laughs> you know of how much money you have just to like waste it on golden food just for the gimmick i don't know it's just how it is i guess Hmm. All right. Well, I mean, there's a big one. That's scary. I don't want to fight the big one. But also, in addition to that, there's two of them right here. Hmm. If I aggro one of them, are they, do they all get aggroed? That would kind of suck. Is there like a shortcut somewhere? So if I die, I don't need to go run all the way back. Because I probably will die. Well, I can ignore them. Go over here. What's over here? Anything over here? Okay, another one of these guys. There's an item though, so all right. Just gonna do the big barf. Yep. Big barf. Projectile hmm. vomit. Oh no 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 no! No, oh, I hate that. Stop it! Stop it! I don't like that one. Excuse me. I gotta use this. Ow, stop it. Stop tracking my movements like a realistic enemy. Can't you just barf in one direction and then miss with all your attacks? Wouldn't that be better? I um, don't So I gotta fix my chair. My chair is not very good. <laughs> it's one of those like uh, ergonomic chairs, you know, or whatever. It has like a little bump, I guess, on your lower back, 
which is I don't know I don't know how much it helps to be honest, but supposedly that helps if you're like uh, you know your natural the natural way your back is supposed to incline I guess or I don't know if that's the right word but but the problem with this chair I mean for one it's cheap so the problem with this chair is that the the, the freaking like um, I don't know what you call it but. Like a lever, I guess. It's not really a lever. It's literally just a metal rod that kind of controls, you know, the thing in your chair, you know, to like move it up and down and everything. But like if you pull it out, you can also like uh, kind of move the back, I guess, backwards a little bit. So you're supposed to, it's like a, a recline sort of, but it's like not very good. It's like a very cheap recline where you literally just make the entire seat a little loose. And so if you like rest back, you know, you end up falling backwards. And I never really use it, really, but it keeps coming off loose, which is annoying. Anyway, that's just all I have to complain about that. Um, but you know, you know, I mean, they're, they're like, I mean, obviously, I for chairs anyway, the uh, stereotypical like gamer chairs I've heard are, like just not really good, right? They're like advertised like for gamers or whatever, but like it's actually not very good for long term use. If you're gonna sit in front of a computer for like all day, it's not very good. As far as I know, so I did not get the like the tip stereotypical like gamer chair or whatever. What do you call them? Like DX racer, you know, whatever. It looks like the chairs you would see in like a racing vehicle, I guess. Maybe that's the idea. Anyway, it's very colorful. I don't know. I aggro both of them. But obviously, again, those chairs apparently are, you know, over overrated. So that's why I just got like a normal, like, mesh ergonomic office chair from like Amazon, <laughs> you know, but like, apparently, I mean, obviously, still not the best. But like a good chair, I've heard, for example, like a Herman Miller or something like that. Obviously, you want something like that, but like, it's very expensive. I don't remember how much it costs, to be honest. Also, ow, you can reach me from there. I don't know. I don't remember how much it costs necessarily, but upwards of like thousands of dollars, I think. Right? So, I, like, my God, that's a lot of money just for a chair. Granted, you know, people always say, right? It's like, you, you, if you're going to spend money on something you're going to uh, spend a lot of time on, like sitting in front of a computer, it's probably a good investment, right? But I don't know. This is very expensive. For like a chair. I don't know. But, you know, having a good chair is nice, I imagine, because my back definitely gets a little sore if I just sit all day. Never used to be a problem, to be honest, when I was younger, but I don't know. I'm starting to get old. I'm so old. But my back is actually getting a little sore. If I sit for like an extended amount of time, like hours or whatever. So I guess a solution to that, I've seen some some people do the thing where like they have like a standing desk, I guess. The idea is like, you know, you don't sit all day, you kind of like stand instead. You know, I mean, ideally to be healthy, you just kind of like walk around, move a little bit, you know, so you don't just sit all day. I don't know. I mean, a standing desk as well has has its own costs. I don't, know, I don't know how to set it up, really. So I don't know. It was worth it. Also, I thought I uh, for some reason because even though I know there's just a small river here, I, for some reason I thought I fell down a ledge, like to my death, just then. Almost had a heart attack. Anyway, how do I fight this thing? I don't know. <laughs> Obviously, the message it uses it says use range attacks, but. I got, um, hmm. I mean, obviously using a horse would be nice, but I have no horse, so. No horse for me. Uh, it's just gonna keep doing that, I don't know. Oh, okay. Ow. Can you stagger, please? That'd be great. No. That. 
In fact, this seems to be the, the big bad boss of the, of the area right now, so I'm probably just gonna use my buff. Uh oh, what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh oh. Get out of there. I'm just mashing buttons. I don't know if that helps or not. I think it does, actually. You know, there's always there's a slight animation, actually, I feel like in Elden Ring. For like certain grabs. If you, if, you know, you actually uh, mash out of it, your character actually lands on their feet. If they don't, they actually land on their back, I think. Is what happens. Oh. Hmm. Never a stagger, I feel like. There's so many jump attacks, but never get a stagger. There you go, finally. Right in the skull. I assume it's a skull, I don't know. It's hard to tell the anatomy of these things. And I got some poop. That's the reward. It's poop. The loathsome dung. You know, it's just dung. Loathsome dung. Hmm. Alright. A little waterfall that, you know, drops off to, I imagine, the ocean, I guess. Makes me wonder where the water comes from in the first place, though. I guess from just it's just from the sky. This uh, glove wear picker's bell bearing. All right, that's your reward, by the way. I think that's for like freaking upgrading your summons. Wow, good. It's just never worth it. But like you know, I just want to be sure. All right. And I guess that's it. As far as I know, it doesn't seem to be anywhere else I can go. All right, that's it. Uh, let's teleport back. Let's see, let's teleport all the way back to the Dragon Temple. And imagine that's the way forward. Probably have to fight that uh, banished knight again, though. Not fun. Because they are pretty tough. If I don't get the parry on them like this, because I'm such a, a pro. I'm so good, I'm a pro gamer. You see, I'm a professional. Wait, what? You're live? Okay. Anyway, I'm a professional gamer, by the way. Very professional. Just another one. Just making sure I'm not getting ambushed, alright. Oh. Oh, okay. Just get stabbed by all of it. Don't get killed, please. I remember that move. It's always tricky. Oh, what? Hmm. Oh, I saw one of these guys. I remember I saw them in a... Oh my god. Really? Miss all of them? Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Anyway, I remember, uh, yeah, that move where he breathes fire. I remember seeing them in the catacomb in the beginning of the game, actually. And I remember getting a dragon seal. So... I guess it makes sense. We're in the, uh, I think the grace was called a dragon temple. I guess these guys are dragon worshipping knights. I assume is what this is. Hmm. Okay. Go over there. More knights. Hmm. <laughs> can drop down or I can just take the stairs you know I don't need like drop down necessarily I feel like let's see it's gonna go that way or I can go over here let's go over here first I saw some items on the lower level so it makes me curious oh summon sign recusant Bernal all right I can summon that guy, you know, the guy who was in the Volcano Manor. I guess he ended up over here, and he's still an ally. Hmm, interesting. 
bloodstain. Hmm. Oh, I heard the sword. Okay. The, uh... The classic, like... That enemy, like... Or not, an, not an enemy necessarily, but like, um... The unsheaving sound of a sword somehow making like like a swing sound for some reason even though that makes no sense <laughs> in real life you know the sheaves are made of usually leather i think of some sort so it doesn't make like a swing sound and yet it's been uh, ingrained in our heads you know from pop culture i feel like and, like movies and whatnot It really makes no sense why it makes a swing sound, but it's now just a classic medieval like trope, I guess. And this guy was a dual wield one. The dual wield ones are scary. <laughs> I'm kill him as just kill him as quickly as possible. Don't even bother even fighting him normally, I guess. All right, just, just made a big circle. Just make sure. Uh, let's see here. Alright, seems like the only way would be over here. Okay, it's a boss and it's two of them. Godskin duo. Oh, okay, I didn't expect a boss fight just already. I used up some of my flashes. Um, hmm. Okay. Okay, good. Cool. Alright, Ornstein Smo. I mean, it kind of is actually. More so than the rest of the boss fights. Ornstein Smo was always the case where it's like one big guy and one like skinny guy basically makes sense um hmm oh, I don't know skin duo um hmm I wish they stopped putting fire at me I imagine you, you, you know, just like the Ornstein Small fight in Dark Souls 1, you want to focus on one guy first. Usually. I don't know, well, I don't know how the mechanics of this one works, though. But usually in Ornstein Small, you kill one guy because, uh, once you kill one guy, like, it goes into a cutscene, and then, you know, spoilers, the other guy gets full health again, so it doesn't matter. So you shouldn't really split your damage. It's probably more efficient anyway just to kill one guy. I never really tried parrying um, the Godskin. Actually, what's his name? The other guy is Godskin Apostle. The big one. What's his name? Godskin. something? I don't know. Okay, I'm just getting hit. <laughs> like, it's not a good idea to trade with bosses, you know? They have way more health than you, so. But I do want, yeah, I want to kill the, whoa, whoa, whoa. okay, oh. I want to kill the freaking Pillsbury guy mascot first because he's going to do the most, well, like, he'll, he'll do these big moves, but I feel like the, the skinny one will do a really powerful moves if you activate his second form too early, I feel like. Oh, you can parry him. Okay, never know. I never actually did it. I don't remember doing parrying this guy. To be honest. I hate that. You know, that move, I don't know how you're supposed to dodge that, to be honest. Alright, he's dead. Hmm. That's tough, though, this one. Oh, okay. I'm trying to parry. That's all I'm trying to do. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, I remember this guy's tricky. He has three combos that kind of roll catch you very well. Huh? What's he doing? What's he doing? Stop it! Oh, he summoned another one. Oh my god, really? That's so annoying. Uh, oh boy. Second phase as well. Oh no, not this move! I, I, it always tricks me because the spinning move, the helicopter move, uh, if he does it without stretching, you want to stay away from him. But if he does it with stretching, you actually, actually dodge into him. It's confusing, you know? It's like the opposite. Oh, 
Okay, stay away from this. In fact, let's use my special attack. hi -yah! Okay, did okay damage. Ow. Oh boy, almost dead. I'm dead. Damn it! I, I hate fighting the... Godskin Apostle. Godskin Noble, yeah, that's the bit. Okay. You know, the, the fat one is Godskin Ap uh, Noble. The Mr. Fantastic is Godskin Apostle, I think. Hmm. I should change this, though. I don't know how much parry I'm gonna do, but let's see. Hit hard. He's being a heal up. There you go. Only one parry. I remember the the Godskin Apostle. You needed like multiple parries to stagger him, really. Actually, easy to parry this guy it seems. Of course, unless he transforms and does different moves. This one. Now this one I, I was always scared of, but I think you just... Oh, I say that, I get hit, but I think usually you just roll into him, you know? I'll roll to the side anyway. I've always just kind of ran away, uh, ran away from it, and that doesn't seem to work, really. Look at you. Probably do this, too. Ow. Ow, stop it. <laughs> hit me with a shockwave. Not too bad. Do a little jump. Okay. 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 Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You done? You done yet? You done, buddy? Alright, cool. There you go. Healing back. Alright, try parrying this guy's harder for some reason. I think he'd be easier to parry, but. I don't like to parry that. I'm not to parry it for some reason. Hmm. Oh, I was gonna do the thing? Stop it! Stop it! Oh, get away! Hmm, alright. Oh no, he, he is transforming, alright. I was hoping he wouldn't transform yet. So maybe I can, like, kill the noble again without too much trouble. Oh no. It's a stretchy guy that's kinda hard, to be honest. All his, like, little moves, I'm still not really good at really dealing with. Roll into that. Get some damage in. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm not gonna bother parrying at this point. Oh. And not hit me somehow. It's good. Oh, really? Oh. Get some stabs in? Alright, there you go. You're gone. Whew. Okay, I... I remember, if you heal, usually, they throw fireballs at you. Gotta be careful. Alright. There you go. Hmm. Even though it's a big slam, I think you can parry that. I, I, I parried that multiple times already, I feel like. I'm doing that. It lags my game if you do that. The big flame attack. No, are you seriously? Godskin duel my ass. This is Godskin quad or whatever. Looking like this is like four kings fight in Dark Souls One, where like it's not actually four kings, especially if you take too much of your time. You know, they they actually spawn in more than four kings in the uh, the titular like. Got a uh, four kings fight anyway in Dark Souls One. Okay, 
I don't want to compare you to that. That's just a backhand. I was gonna do this again. Oh no, it's actually a jump. It's fine. That's actually the easiest to dodge, really. But that one, I don't know. I guess he just retaliates sometimes. He can't do anything about it. There you go. It's easy to parry for some reason, though. Oh, I didn't get the parry, though. Damn, what? Really? I got too uh, cocky there. I thought, oh, I thought I was gonna get the, pa the parry. Oh, really? It hit me anyway. Okay, this isn't good. There you go. Alright, you're dead. Ah, oh, it's just you now. Yeah, I'm not parrying this guy. This guy's harder to parry for some reason. I don't know why. It's just his attacks are too weird. No, really? Stop. Stop. <laughs> Run. I'm just running. Screw you. Oh, all right. <laughs> just to finish them off. <sighs> okay. Well. That was a fight. Again, God skin duel my ass. That was not a duel. The freaking like four of them is summoned in one boss fight. Got black flame tornado and like bell bearing. But I guess, well, I mean, I guess lore wise, maybe the idea is that it is two of them, but the other one keeps reviving, you know, each other, I guess is the idea. So technically it is two of them, you know. They just keep coming back, is all. They respawn. Uh, anyway, um... I got an Ash of War. I got this. It's a flame art. Da -da -da. Yeah, I mean, I imagine it's the same little uh, technique that the Godskin Apostle does, right? When he spins his weapon. Big flame tornado. Oh my god. It's moving stone. Oh, oh, this one is for... Oh, seven and eight. Yeah, okay, that's very useful. Because that's for upgrading my uh, my weapons and everything. You know, I'm also instinctually looking for talk to Milena <laughs> option, but I imagine there isn't a talk to Milena option. <sighs> she's freaking dead, so... I mean, at the very least, she said goodbye. <laughs> so I imagine she's dead. But, whew, alright. That was kind of tough. Only took uh, two tries though. I guess it's because I'm. Well, I don't know. I'm, 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 I don't know if I'm necessarily over leveled. I'm level one hundred. Is that over leveled? I don't know. Summoning pool. Oh, another summoning pool. A lot of summoning pools in this area. This is... <sighs> actually, I want to go back real quick. Um, because I can. I actually want to go back to the table of lost grace, and use those bell bearings if possible. <laughs> 